Hey guys, this is Curtis, and in this new Streamy video, I'm going to demonstrate the S3 recording feature. Streamy can write your IP cameras 24-7 to your S3 service bucket, in addition to being able to write to your NAS via SMB. To start with, uh, we'll go to the Settings tab, down to Integrations. You can see the integrations that I already have defined here, including YouTube for live streaming, access to my Google Nest camera, my Unify Protect system, as well as my S3 storage bucket on Cloudflare. I use Cloudflare's R2 service, but you can use uh, Amazon's AWS S3. You can use uh, Backblaze, DigitalOcean, um, so on, anything that is S3 compatible. You'll start by tapping on the Add Integration button, choose the S3 storage option, and configure it. When you're done with that, it'll look a little like this. You just need to provide your access key ID, a secret access key, and the endpoint. If you tap connect, verify that Streamy can read and write to your bucket, save and close, and you are done with the setup process for the integration. You'll switch over to the Home tab, go to File Servers. Here are the various file servers I've configured, including my local NASes, as well as my S3 bucket, uh, right here on the right, you'll start with options add. You see your SMB file servers will show up automatically if they're discovered on the network. And your S3 storage integration will show up right here. You tap on that and you can configure it. You take a look at my configuration by swiping left on it. You can set a name. You can choose the encoding quality. If you choose the high quality, that will use the original quality from your video stream, whatever that is, uh, an IP camera, for instance. Um, if you choose a lesser quality, then Streamy will transcode to a lower bit rate. Uh, that's useful for reducing the bandwidth requirements as well as the storage requirements. However, it's also going to increase the computational requirements of Streamy, which means that you'll be limited in the number of cameras that you can stream if you're also transcoding each of them. For the path, you can browse your S3 bucket like it's a file server and choose the folder that you want or create a new folder. The quota lets you define the maximum number of days that you want stored. If you choose one, that will include uh, all of today as well as all of yesterday, but nothing older than that. So at midnight tonight, it will start pruning off uh, yesterday's uh, recordings. So you always have at least 24 hours of recordings available. You can choose the set of cameras that you want to record as well, or just leave that blank, and we will record any um, cameras that are actively being streamed. Finally, under the Members section, you choose which of your devices you want to record. Uh, my setup includes several Apple TVs, one with interior cameras, one with exterior cameras, and those two Apple TVs uh, record both to the SMB NAS as well as um, to Cloudflare's S. S3 service or R2. Hit save and close and you're good to go. And all you need to do is start streaming, you know, whichever group of cameras you want to stream and those will start recording. Every 10 minutes, Streamy will dump out um, a recording and then push it to your file servers. So if we want to browse our recordings, we'll tap on file servers again. Instead of swiping on Cloudflare R2, I'm going to tap on it. Here's our list of cameras that we have recorded to our S3 service, I'm just gonna tap on Backyard. And here's the list of days. I've only been testing this camera for today. And we'll let it load. Well, nope, yep, there we go. You see these are thumbnails that are taken every 15 seconds. So you can quickly see what was going on and then choose where you wanna watch from. I'm gonna choose this one right here. Hit play. And we'll jump right to that point in the recording. You can also share the recording, which will export it as a playable movie that you can put in your iCloud shared photo album or text or email to somebody or just airdrop to a computer. And that's basically it. That's how S3 works. Uh, give it a try and get in touch with us if you need help. Have a great day.